It is Thursday, October 6, 2011, and we've got the full extended newscast coming up for you. You know, in the last three or four years, I've had different cable networks, different satellite systems say, we'd like you to produce a daily news show. We'd like to pick it up. We'd like you to move to Los Angeles, New York, London, places like that, Dallas, be able to do it. And I'm busy with a syndicated radio show that reaches now millions of people a day. About two million on AM and FM, another million or so on the internet. And uh, we've started doing a show, and I've and I've said this is a live beta test here. What we're it's 7:21 Central, 8:21 Eastern. Um, the guys were all here; they were all ready hours ago. Uh, I was busy getting packed up and ready to go occupy the Federal Reserve protest tomorrow in Dallas, kicking that off nationwide, and. Uh, Quite frankly, the crew hadn't eaten in about six, seven hours, and we got some chicken, came in from a local Mexican place. And um, what is the name of that place? It's so awesome. Pollo Rico. Pollo Rico. I got to give that place a plug over here in South Austin. And so I, I hate to disrespect the viewers, um, and, and I apologize, but that's why we're not even ready yet, even though people are ready. You know, it's kind of like Orson Welles would say in that wine commercial, I will sell no wine until it's time. We're not ready yet to do the 30 minute, and now stations are saying they really want an hour, hour long news show. You know, the show's always longer than an hour. Some days it's two hours long. And that's great for subscribers and viewers of PrisonPlanet.tv and folks that leak it out over the web and it reaches about 300,000 people within a day or so of the show coming out. So it's very effective, it's growing, I'm very excited about it. We reach hundreds of millions of people conservatively uh, a year just on YouTube alone. And those numbers are evident with just one of our many channels getting 145 million views. Um, my issue is I'm very thankful to you, the subscribers of this show, uh, that make it possible. The guys got in a little late this evening. Um, they shot the report yesterday at the big disgusting EcoFest, um, which is really the tyranny packaged in green fest, uh, with a gaggle of a simpering control freaks, every one of them just absolutely uh, disgusting uh, from what I've read and seen about them. Uh, we've got this uh, CEO of the Nature Conservancy flipping out. That's coming up. He was a former uh, Goldman Sachs uh, operative. Uh, that is uh, coming up. And I'm going to try to contain myself during it, but watching it while they were putting it together, I, it's, it's, it really makes me see red. There's something about fake, cunning, militarized yuppies acting all friendly, but having that predator look at you. Like a wolf looking like it's on a rabbit hunt. That uh, I'm tired of it. I like innocence, I like freedom, I like honor, I like goodness. I don't like control freaks. And uh, nothing makes me more angry than Goldman Sachs. They have totally screwed this country over. They are the biggest owner of the private Federal Reserve. They have bankrupted countless nations. They spend decades getting their people in as prime ministers and presidents so they can gut countries. And they take countries like Argentina that was the jewel of South America, had a higher standard of living than North America. And just within years, it's an absolute hellhole with just starving families everywhere, homeless people everywhere destroyed. I mean, these people are locust vampires. And when I think about what they've done to people, it just, it, just, it just makes me want to throw up. I actually get a bad taste in my mouth. I am so disgusted. I don't even hate these people. I want to uncloak them. I want to reveal them, and I want to bring them to justice. And that's happening with Ken Lay and the carbon taxes and Goldman Sachs and all of them. And we're going to occupy the Fed. Now, I know we had a bunch of news pieces come in tonight. The guys went down to the Occupy Austin event, and they're going to have that footage tomorrow. Rob Jacobson just rolled in uh, with our other reporter and uh, has incredible footage for you tomorrow night uh, from Occupy Wall Street in New York. And I start thinking about the responsibility we've got, the fact that we're reaching millions of people, that we've built this system, and that we're really now about to take the training wheels off and go to the next level. <laughs> I mean, with our training wheels on, we've reached hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of millions of people. Quite a responsibility. This is teleprompter free news. This is what I really believe. This is what I really think. This is who I really am. So if I blow up sometimes and flip out on air, 
it's because I'm not seeing my family much. Saw them about an hour this morning, drove home today, saw them for about 30 minutes. And I'm not complaining about that. It's just that I love my children and my wife so much that it makes my heart hurt. But I'm here. I'm here at 725 at night about to do a whole news transmission for you. And so is my crew. Because if we don't do this, we don't have a future. But in that process of spending, let's be conservative, 16 hours a day reading legislation, reading documents, the greater of an understanding I get of things, the more I get angry because I realize there's this class of people worldwide. They could be black, they could be white, they could be Hispanic, they could be Asian, they could be you name it. But they're the predators. They're the people that use the general population's ignorance. Like I have an instinct to want to show somebody how to change a tire or how to show somebody how to catch a fish or how to show somebody how to plant a garden. I have an instinct to want to help an old person across the street. And it's not because I'm a good person. I just have a good, human, tribal understanding that if I help others, it helps me. That's just basic survival. But, it, but we're designed, if we're normal, to have a good feeling when we do that. I have a good feeling when I have family over and make a bunch of food and bring it out. I have a good feeling when I knock a bully's teeth out. And it's not because I love violence. It's because I want to crush corruption. It's all instinctive. You see a ladybug, you know it's a bug that eats aphids off of plants. You automatically don't want to hurt it. Other animals don't. You see a cockroach, you feel good when you stomp on it. Because a cockroach is a carrion bug that eats rotten meat and brings diseases into your house. I mean, it's really all just instinct. And when I see the global controllers hurting people, getting off on destruction, getting off on spreading disease and pain, and trying to make people weak and not trying to build people up, it makes me very, very angry. And I'm tired of looking at them. I'm tired of seeing all their lies. I mean, when you study this stuff for a long time, you know the next thing they're going to say before they say it. And it's just, you want people to see them. You want people to know the con. You want justice. You don't want criminals. See, the evil people out there are just a few degrees away from what I am. I know how the world works and I want to empower people and build them up. These are people that are smart and know how the world works, but they go, hey, most people don't know this. I'm going to use this to cheat people. What? <laughs> and, and they think that gets them ahead. It doesn't get them ahead. Uh, in the end, it destroys the entire world, destroys our society. It produces nightmares. And it's time to get past their fear. You know, I'm not perfect, I'm far from it. In fact, it is the fact that I am impure and twisted that makes me human. But I can recognize good from evil. I know enough about evil to know it leads to destruction. I know more about evil in many cases than people that are serving darkness because I have traveled in my mind on many roads and physically seen quite, quite a spectacle. Many of these people that serve evil have been cushioned and have not seen where the era of their ways leads them in society. I, for one, have. And I want no part of it, not in my name. In closing, before we go to the intro and come back and refocus and bring you InfoWars nightly news, Got a big day coming up tomorrow in Dallas, and anybody who can be there, I'm telling you, you should be there. But regardless, just get the word out about the Federal Reserve. They're the enemy. They're the globalists. They're the dictators. They're the occupiers. They're the people that want to destroy free market and true capitalism. They are the giant centralized corporate board that are the enemy of this republic. Tomorrow in Dallas, 6 p.m., 5, I'll probably be there a little bit early, but till about 8 at night. Then I go to Houston, high noon. San Antonio, 10 a.m. to noon, and then I come back to Austin to do the Sunday show. But I basically preached enough. Um, a major tectonic shift is taking place in society right now. And everything you do changes the future of human destiny forever. Right now is the time of change. And good and evil are basically struggling against each other. And for me, there's nothing more horrible than people that know the way the world works, the people that have 
the keys to a greater degree to the universe and instead of bringing others along with them seek to use that knowledge to enslave them and make no mistake the enemies we will cover tonight of the federal reserve and goldman sachs and the nature conservancy they are the sworn enemies of civilization of progress of the family and of everyone they are ruthless cunning enemies of human development and they will be defeated we're going to go to break and come back with InfoWars Nightly News. Stay with us.